Hi everybody, this is Shannon with Shannon Sweets. I am ready to feature my April uh, sweet treat video for you. And it is using Shark Frenzy um, uh, stamp set. And I just realized as I started filming this that I mistakenly typed on my um, little tutorial that this did not carry over into the annual catalog. And this is not actually, this is part of the January to June sweet uh, stamp set. So it would not be in. So we'll have to wait until um, May to see if it actually carries over. Um, from that catalog. It is not in the annual catalog for sure, but um, so I have my doubts is carrying over because there are stamp sets in the from the January to June catalog in the new um, annual catalog and this is not one of them. So I do not believe it is carrying over because it is not in there. So if you want this stamp set, definitely get it. Um, because I don't see it in the new catalog. Um, the paper is um, from Sand and Sea, and it is definitely not going to be carrying over after May, um, or June for sure. Um, so it's only going to be available through May if you want to get that paper. So let's move forward with this great uh, tutorial using making these two adorable cards. This is a great um, greeting, a lot really good for kids, but you definitely can send it to all ages um, that you want to send to. This one, I'm just using the do, 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 and then you can write anything you'd like on the inside. Um, this one, I love you, but this could be I love you to children, um, maybe a sister, or, you know, anybody like that, that maybe even a friend. Hey, yeah, I love my friends, so I could send that to them also. So let's start. Um, I've done all the heavy die cutting for you. And if you're familiar with any of my sweet treats, if you're not, it's um, anybody who purchases $25 or more from me in the month will get this card set for free. You get to make two cards. I do use a square, circle, anything like that. Um, so you could use any stamp set you want. You don't have to use the Shark Frenzy. Um, and you could stamp whatever you'd like on there. You could use the Whale Time. That would be great for this Sea, Sand and Sea Mermaids if you happen to have that stamp set. So you could use whatever you want. Now, um, also retiring in the catalog is the Stitched Shapes. So if you happen to... Um, not have this yet and you want it, you definitely, this is gonna go really fast, I promise you. Um, there is a lot of little bitty components in this thing. I have put them in, in envelopes in here, so when you get it, hopefully it stays inside the envelope um, for each set. Can't guarantee that, but um, that is my hope. So well, let's start with our stamping i'm going to just gently see the little fishes have come off here um, so with this one you have the square but i'm going to angle it like a diamond i'm only using two ink colors in this set and we're going to start with the memento black and you want to ink up your stamp really well and do the outline of the shark and we're going to do him right in the middle just like that then we're going to take the solid and then take a piece of scratch paper you can see i've already stamped him once there and stamp him off just like that take our square back and line, move my ink so I don't put my hands in it, and then just line him up. Hopefully I can see around my cameras here. And see, then you get a nice gray. 
Then I'm gonna take my do 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 ink that up and I'm gonna gently take all my little pieces off and on this pool party that has all these holes in it right there I'm going to stamp at the top of that paper just like that okay move my ink pad so that I don't get anything on it try to Let's take the gray granite. This is eight and a half by five and a half. I'm going to fold it in half. If you have a bone folder, that works better. Then you sh you'll have a piece of Knight of Navy. This is four by five and a half, or no, five and a quarter, excuse me. And that's going to go down first on the front. Okay, you will have a piece of four by five and a quarter white. That's going to go on the inside. Then our pool party one is going to go on to that Knight of Navy. And hopefully it lines up mostly. You might have a little bit of an edge, but that's okay. Then you should have a one that's got a curve cut out. There is a curved die in this bundle. I love this bundle. It's got a scallop and it's got a curve that you could use for anything. And that's gonna line up right here at the bottom. Then you've got two little um, kind of leaves. It already has some adhesive on the back because I cut these with the adhesive sheets already on it. I'm going to take the solid one first. And just because of the way the adhesive sheets are, they have to do that in a couple pieces and then watch it stick to myself. I have no fingernails, so probably should use my tool that apparently isn't on my desk. So let's use the back of some scissors. So we're going to plug this onto the side. Then we're going to take some dimensionals. Actually, let's take the edge of one here because it'd be bigger. And then, so this is going to go at an angle, kind of like we cut our shark out at. All right, then I'm going to take, I'm gonna use the wet glue, but you can use maybe. I'm going to use some glue here and 
put this little guy. Oh, I forgot to stamp. If you'd like, you can put give him a mustache. So I'm going to give him a little mustache here. And I'm going to give him some eyeglasses. So just like that is okay. Um, then I can take the other leaf here. And if you take it to the bottom, so I'm just going to kind of layer it here with and write it up my square just like that. Okay, so then that way it, and then I have a little, there's a bow tie and then there's a, um, you have one of each actually. So that way you can choose, do you want the bow tie or do you want the, and if you look really closely, um, you can tell which side is flat, which side is not. And I got to get my fingers here so I can get the glue on there. And then I just kind of layered it down on. And then there's several fishes. Um, so the fish dye it comes in like threes. So I just kind of layered you got like six fishes. So however you want your fishes. I put some over here in this corner. And then I Layered some at up here on the top, too. So, um, so it kind of went along with my sign up here. Dad, my glue got a little bit and there is um, now you can take these are part of the circle up here so if you want just layer just a little bit of glue okay because I didn't put adhesive on these and they'll just fit You just kind of have to work them back in their spots. So you can kind of see where they were at. I don't think they need to be in there perfect because, you know, they're bubbles. Right? And then just kind of putting them in there to accent above that um, navy anyway. So...
right, so there we go. That's card number one. All right, card number two, we're going to, um, it's kind of more girly. So we're going to stamp our shark, our big one. We're actually gonna do a mama and a baby shark. So I'm kind of gonna go more to the side, toward the top on this one with the big shark, all right? And then there's a little shark. And the little shark, I gave you two little um, die cuts, so just in case it doesn't, uh, you don't get it lined up perfect or something the first time, you'll have an extra one. Oh, I did a pretty good job. So on the little one, you're gonna do the same thing as we just did. Do the outline and then um, off. And I mean, you could do, if you want it to be a little girl shark, you could do it with the magenta. I'm gonna do it with the. I'm using Magenta Madness. Um, I just feel like I haven't used that enough lately, so that's why. And again, I did um, stamp off. It just gives it a lighter tone. I mean, if you want the bright, you can. You don't have to stamp off. I just feel like. The lighter tone is a little bit better. Um, then I'm going to go ahead and while I'm at it, put these, put this little guy right here on the bottom fin. And then you'll see there's a bow. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp the bow with the full magenta on this um, DSP that's been cut out for you. And then I can use um, a dimensional, if you have minis or just cut one of your big ones in half. Um, and, and then I'm gonna put that bow right there at the upper fin. And then on this oval, which is actually our dual punch, it's the oval there, I'm going to stamp the I love you right in the middle of that. And I'm going to, I'm using the magenta for that. And then that way I can put a couple. So you can either put the dimensionals on the oval or you can put the dimensionals on the scallop, this time I'm gonna put the dimensionals on the oval, and that way everything is ready to go. Um, before I put my card together, you have this piece of DSP, which is one inch by four inches, and we're gonna take and just trim and just kind of make some waves with our scissors. And then that way we can take our glue and just at the right underneath the part of the waves. All right, we're going to um, put that at the bottom part of our and it should line up the same. All right, I'm gonna turn that over so it can dry. And let me scoot that aside for a moment. We're gonna take our Magenta Madness, which is um, eight and a half by five and a half, fold that one in half with our bone folder. 
we have a basic white um, and this is going to go on the inside and then you'll have a piece of uh, balmy blue that has been ran through um, our uh, embossing folder it is the oh, C seabed um, and this is not carrying forward either so if you would like don't believe it's carrying forward um, so if you want to get that before it's sold out so this is going to go on the bottom of our card And then our circle is going to go right there. And then we'll just go ahead and put some glue on right there. And that is our card. So I have four great cards. Um, to give out now um, for this month. So thank you so much for watching. Please make sure that you click on my blog for more information if you didn't catch it on how to get your sweet treat for this month. Thanks so much. Look forward to seeing you this month. Bye.